Alrighty, Pisces, so this is going to be your reading for January 28th through February 4th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, hey girl, hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And we are going to get straight into your messages, guys. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information will be in the description box for you to go ahead and book with me. You can book on my site, www.mysticalcrystals.com. And let's see what intuitive messages come through. What's going on with my Pisces for January 28th through February 4th, please? see okay so a lot of you guys are really trying to see <laughs> a lot of you guys are trying to see who's loyal to you like you're you're really trying to see like okay well how deep does your loyalty kind of lie with me like how how deep is your love for me how much are you willing to commit to me and show me that you care about me even when shit gets kind of rough money dries up the love is not all the way there sometimes like you hate my guts sometimes but how like how loyal are you to me like that's where you're at in your mindset this week i feel you're really looking at who is there for you um a lot of situation that a lot of situations that may have been kind of stale or getting to the point of being super stale, I feel like you're not even upset about it, to be honest. Um, you're just not even here to put work into it anymore. Um, you may have been at one point, but it's just like you're not even going out of your way to like reach out to people, go visit them. This could be a spouse. This could be whoever. But overall, just in a space of like not letting yourself sit around and think about other people. For some of you guys, there's a situation here where you've kind of... Okay, some of you guys, you may be trying to resurrect a situation here that may have ended. That situation is not going to bring a sense of stability, so I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I would also make sure that you guys are focusing on your sense of stability this week as well. Some of you guys may be in la-la land and not really paying attention to things that really matter. Yeah, some of you guys are just like lollygagging like in dream world. <laughs> and needing to come back to earth. Come back to earth. Um, I feel like some of you guys may be going out to out for drinks or going out with friends to events. You need to make sure that you're not hanging around some people who are like energy vampires. Some of you guys, you also haven't really been connecting with your spirit guides like that. You need to make sure that you're connecting with them overall. But yeah, I keep seeing an old situation here. It's still affecting one person. This may be for just a small few. It's an old situation here where somebody is like... Still stuck on them and still remaining hopeful. And it's just like fucking with you. You have to stop. I feel like the love there is kind of gone between you and this person. And now it's time for you to go out there and be free. That's for somebody out there, okay? If you're still stuck on that person, you gotta move on. This person is not providing you with the love that you're looking for. Alright? Alright, so let's go ahead and see what intuitive messages come through for your career money and all that stuff what is the advice i can give to my pisces for january 28th through february 14th january 28th through february 4th please for my sun moon rising and venus pisces okay so yeah, some of you guys, like I said, you have not been connecting with your spirit guides in a while. Some of you guys, you really need to make sure that you're connecting with them or that you're actually even listening to the divine guidance that you're receiving right now because you may be receiving that guidance and you're not really taking heed to it. 
Um, yeah, some of you guys, it's like you're being too hard on yourself and you're being a perfectionist when everything doesn't have to always be 100% perfect. Yes, you can work on building and polishing over your creative endeavors, but if you're being too hard on yourself and you're not allowing yourself to kind of, um, you know, step out there and release your work because you're so hard on yourself, that's going to be an issue because you're never going to get... Uh, people to know what you're capable of so make sure you're not blocking yourself because of that and i'm seeing happy news come in for you guys overall i feel like some good news will be coming in when it comes to your creative endeavors you just need to make sure that you're doing your law of attraction work putting your thoughts putting your um energy in a positive place so that you can go ahead and manifest these blessings Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into a spread and see what else I see. What's going on with my Pisces for January 28th through February 4th? Okay, energy coming into this week. Last week's energy, the guidance, the focus for this week. Okay, two came out. And then the outcome. Alrighty, interesting. So what I'm seeing before we even get into the spread, I am seeing that you guys are making some decisions here about somebody who you have in and out passion with, or maybe flaky. Okay. This could be somebody who you have kids with. Um, there may be cheating going on within this connection. Um, and maybe a Taurus, Libra, whoever it may be, but you're really trying to move slow with this person, or you may be looking back at a situation with somebody who you did have kids with, and you may be wanting to move slow with this person, but somebody's too defensive. Okay. This could be a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo water sign air sign whoever but coming into this week you guys are having the page of swords energy with the seven of swords so like I said guys like I felt this like <laughs> how faithful are you to me like how faithful like you really are watching somebody to see if they're faithful to you uh, you could be suspecting that somebody's cheating. There could be some verbal disputes because of that. For others of you, there could be a situation from your past. Like I said, for others of you, you're stuck on somebody from your past and you may be stalking their page and looking back at the relationship, but you guys didn't have an understanding of each other anyways. There was issues already. So you're looking back at it, but you needed to walk away because the connection was dishonest. Yeah, justice card. I feel like the situation was karmic for some of you guys. And I feel like now it's time for you guys to go out there and start something new so that you can get a sense of happiness. But what I am seeing for the past, I do have the nine of swords clarified by the king of swords. So I feel like you guys were really stuck in your head or having a lot of anxiety staying up late about somebody. This could be an air sign. This could also be a divorce or somebody who's really detached from you, okay? But um, really, like, somebody was defensive or this may have been you. And I really feel like some of you guys were at a crossroads on whether or not you wanted to keep dealing with something that was toxic. So what I'm seeing for the guidance, I do have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Four of Wands. So the guidance here is to take action towards your stability, taking action towards this twin flame connection, okay? And also not flying off the handle when it comes to this connection. Some of you guys also, it's like you guys need to take some sort of action immediately to close some cycles out within your twin flame connection or your family situation because you may be dissatisfied with how things are going. You may need to address it. Um, or you need to take action towards getting that person. Or this person does, Okay. Or again, some of you guys, you need to come out of that frame of still focusing on a situation that ended. But what I am seeing for the focus and reason for this week, some of you guys are really wanting to communicate with somebody and get this connection going again. Um, yeah, definitely want to get this connection going again. And some of you guys are going to be trying to take action towards that. And what I'm seeing for the outcome, I do have the nine of wands clarified by the chariot. So I really feel like you guys are going to be trying to push forward, even though you may be extremely guarded or this person is, you're still going to try to push forward. But I really feel like somebody's trying to move on. I feel like 
there is a situation here where you put time into it, but I don't feel like somebody's going to be open to resurrecting it. I really feel like somebody's wanting to leave the situation behind. Um, they're trying to just face the facts beyond the emotional standpoint of it just even being fickle. And I feel like somebody's just at their wit's end with this and just wanting to start something new and get clarity overall, okay? Alrighty, so what's going on with my Pisces cross watcher partner person in question for January 28th through February 14th? So what's going on with my Pisces cross watcher partner person in question? What are their feelings towards my Pisces for this week? So this person is trying to heal this. This person is willing to commit to you. I feel like this person... Feels like there was some sneaky stuff that was done in the past, um, but they still are looking back on this. They still are trying to seek clarity. Um, I feel like they may be watching you and they love you. They care about you, but they have issues opening up. Um, I feel like they're kind of at their wits end mentally. They're very confused about what's going on here. They really thought that this was going to be stable and they're in, our, they're in their feelings and they're starting to realize how they've been stuck to the situation and they're hurt, like they're hurt and right now they're on a break trying to think about what the hell happened and they're just trying to walk away and get fulfillment. I really feel like this person is wanting the cycle to close so that they can actually start working on some other stuff that they got going on where there's going to be give and take. I feel like this person may have had options as well, especially if you're dealing with the Sagittarius. This person definitely had options. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. Thank you guys so much for... Thank you guys so much for watching. I have to pull one more card. <laughs> I definitely have to pull more cards, but um, hold on. Let's see what other guidance I have for you guys. What is the guidance I can pass on to my Pisces for January 28th through February 4th? Okay, so the card that fell on the floor, we have love them. Wait, love the one you're with. This includes you. Okay, and then give me one more card for my Pisces for January 28th through February 4th. And then we have fucking say it. Resentment kills the magic. So, yeah, you guys do need to make sure that you're having self-love for yourself overall before you can love someone else. And also, you do need to make sure that you're speaking your mind when it comes to how you feel and not really suppressing it because then you're going to have underlying resentment and it's going to always cause issues overall. So instead of just like not speaking how you feel and feeling like taking matters into your own hands or doing alternative sneaky things to kind of get things to go your way, it's just going to cause more issues. All right. Alrighty, so that's going to be it for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that I was able to bring some sort of clarity out there to someone. If it did resonate, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and make sure you check out my description box for my website to book with me. And I will talk to you Pisces next week. Have an awesome week, guys.